Hey again everyone, this video is for Thursday, October 19th. This is the 30 minute <clears throat> chart of the ES. And what I'm looking at is creating an angle from uh, high and a low and then paralleling that angle from the prior and subsequent top or bottom. <clears throat> and in the future, those angles are going to give you support and resistance points. So on uh, this low here where I have the green arrow, <coughs> excuse me, I created the trend line of the correct angle for that low. And then I copied it, placed it on this high back here, and then on the first high after the low was in. So you can see how that became a support area here on the way up. <clears throat> and then that broke kind of gravity center there, zigzag around, and then moved away. The next line down off the prior high became support out here a week or so later. Drawing an angle down from the high and then paralleling that off the two subsequent tops gives some good information there also. The uh, <clears throat> first angle became support after the upper angle was broken, then the other uh, angle from the prior highs held some resistance into the cross there, then they turned down. So now they're going to look to find support here at uh, say the 43, 4295 to 4308 area or so. Uh, but these angles give you good uh, support and resistance and where the angles cross they'll also give you pivot points. Look here you have this minor high. This cross here you're on that minor high. This cross is during the chop period right here at this cross you're at a low this cross is at that high so uh, just these two angles and their parallels will give you a lot of good information and some good trading points